for accepting to take uh, uh, time to give us an interview, sir. Could you present yourself? Yeah, my name is Richard Semitego. I'm the organizer and published secretary for uh, United Ugandans uh, Pro-Democratic Forum, which was set up uh, to unite all Ugandans in diaspora, regardless of their political affiliation or religious uh, beliefs, but to work upon achieving democracy in Uganda. Thank you. I, I understand that uh, Uganda is uh, undergoing a very, very um, important period now with, with uh, the contested elections uh, results. Uh, with uh, Yuri Museveni, who was inaugurated uh, last week. Could you tell us about uh, the return of uh, this uh, um, uh, political leader? Uh, what happened? Yeah, the political situation in Uganda for opposition uh, political leaders and uh, political activists is very, very bad. A few weeks back, Dr. Kizabe Siji was mishandled and was treated like an animal, yet he was a presidential candidate. Uh, in last concluded elections in Uganda, and he was the second. He was taken to Nairobi, Kenya for treatment, but the day when uh, Mr. Seven was uh, swearing in, Dr. Kanoki Zabesiji was returning back home, and the BBC uh, wrote about it and he said the return of Dr. Kizabesiji was tsunami to Museveni's uh, swearing in ceremony, because the public of Uganda, all oh, the masses went to uh, welcome back Dr. Kizabesiji and they deserted uh, President Museveni's swearing in ceremony. The government used force to gun stop people from uh, welcoming back Dr. Kizabesiji. Ugandans were expressing their anger towards uh, all heads of states who came to uh, attend uh, President Museveni's inauguration. Thank you for that. Um, now that uh, Yuhuri Museveni has been uh, inaugurated, um, what next? What next? Ugandans are still trying to express their hunger towards the vote rigging in the last concluded elections. And uh, all Ugandans have a walk to work policy whereby they work every Monday and Thursday. So they come out with that policy of walk to work as a way of sending a clear message to government that we need change, we need democracy. Freedom of expression is ripped apart because people are not allowed to go on streets and just demonstrate or say what they feel about their country. So the situation in Uganda really is on crossroads. Uganda is asking for freedom of press, they are asking for freedom of expression, they want a Uganda free of corruption because uh, all Ugandans, like I said, majority, they are living below poverty line. So Ugandans right now, they are asking for one thing, democracy. Thank you. I understand today you have attended a conference on uh, democratic changes in Central Africa, uh, particularly in uh, Uganda, uh, Rwanda, and Sudan. Uh, could you please uh, talk to us about uh, um, what the conference was all about? The conference was very good and was well organized. Uh, all countries which are mentioned, Uganda, Rwanda, and Sudan, are really angry, crying for democracy, mm -hmm. especially in Uganda right now. Today's conference well articulated the issues concerning uh, people of Uganda, concerning people of Sudan and Rwanda. And some of them, they are quite similar. Uganda right now is trying to adapt the a revolutionary change which happened in Egypt, which happened in Tunisia, because they tried through uh, elections three times now, they failed to get what they, they need through elections. Now they are trying to adapt a different way of getting what they want. And this time, for sure, Ugandans are determined to get democracy. People are protesting that they want change, they don't want to see uh, more corruption, they want to see freedom of press, they want to see freedom of expression, whereby Ugandans can have a say, because a few years back, uh, radio stations, and even now, radio stations are under threat of closure by the government. Social networks like Facebook, uh, Twitter, they are all under threat, uh, government is threatening to uh, 
shut them down. 25 years, I think, is more than enough. We need to see a new leader in Uganda to come and take our country, Uganda, forward to okay. democracy. Do you believe that a change of leadership will lead to democracy necessarily? Uh, a change, a fundamental change in institutions and again change of leadership. Uh, Dr. Kizabesiki has got a program where he wants to see his country moving and at the moment for 25 years as we talk, President Yoweri Museven cannot bring in any new idea and anyone who tries to bring in any new idea for him is like a threat. Okay. So that's why we are calling for new leadership right now so that we can have new ideas to move forward. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.